So it's really important that we get quality data, right? So we want to look at uh, different uh, applications and be specific about what we're trying to capture and what we're trying to achieve from a, a gas perspective. In fact, any artificial lift method, you know, in general. And so uh, quality in is quality out. So the first thing is we can do is get a good understanding of the, the, the characteristics of the well, whether it's singular or, or larger uh, scope of, of applications. And so uh, we'll look at, we'll dive into the details. We'll, we're always going to want more than enough, and then we'll filter that out. Uh, the also would we'll have a good idea of sort of what the operating profile is, is as well. And so this could be things of uh, artificial lift strategies, uh, changing artificial lift in the future. And more importantly on gas lift, what we're looking for is things that affect our gas lift performance. And, and that's, a, that's a long conversation per well specifically. And so we'll, we'll look at certain key strategic data points for well production optimization and incorporate that data into our software to really output a good design. So if we look at the gas of business in general terms, uh, there's different softwares that, that accomplish this, right? Uh, so specifically what we're looking for is more of a nodal aspect. And really when we say that, we're defining that by saying, well, we're looking from a hydraulic perspective, how much fluid we're moving, uh, specifically what the vertical lift performance is on these gas of valves. And that will begin to predict sort of what the depths are per gas of station and unloading stations and, and things of that nature. And so the, the idea that more is better is not the case here, but it, it's very specific case of, of being able to lift or, or move enough fluid to have the well uh, reduce the bottom hole flowing pressures as much as possible. And that generally just equates to a better uplift. Uh, and I think uh, what we need to basically do is look at uh, new things that contribute to the overall better performance of each well. Uh, to accomplish those kind of things, uh, you need to have a, a portfolio that, that flows together nicely. And these can be things that, uh, that are in use today, uh, things like plungers, things like uh, chemical flow improvers, things uh, like downhole monitoring systems, stuff like that. Historically, we've seen that this has sort of been a siloed approach. Uh, now, we have the ability to keep everything in-house, and this is good because we're able to, to internally test things before it gets rolled out to market. And so that's sort of where we are today. And then we need to talk about where do we go tomorrow. And so this begins a, a different question. Uh, as the workload has increased, as we see operators' uh, uh, workload as far as well count and overall demand for, for increasing the optimization on gas specific applications, uh, we need to see what tomorrow looks like. And specifically what, how we define that, I think for us as a company is saying, well, we look at the automation side, how do we automate this process to, to make it more to make it more efficient? We've we've established sort of our API standards. We know those things to be true, and how do we roll that to a, to an operator to say, hey, look, field wide, we can do this, you know, with a click of a button. And I think we look at uh, we go from here as a well by well basis, a pumper by pumper basis, by saying as a network we can connect, we can now do these things as a network basis. And I think that's the real value. That's less downtime. There's less man hours going to each gas of well, and ultimately increases your BOE and in your production.